Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alpha King Carter here. Right now is the best time to be a Sixers fan, dog. Listen, so much has happened tonight, man. Like, my world has been rocked for real. Like, this is one of those moments, those type of videos where I really break down to you guys, like, how long I've been waiting to feel like this. Like, you know, not, I wouldn't call it butterflies. I would call it more of a sense of, like, pride and, you know, like, oh, man, I just, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm so, I'm so hyped right now. I really don't know what to say. But basically, Ben Simmons has won the Rookie of the Year Award, which Joel Embiid did get snubbed. But just because Joel Embiid got snubbed from that, EA Sports came out and gave him the NBA Live 19 cover athlete spot. That means NBA Live 19 is trust in the process. And if you spin it the right way, NBA Live is telling you guys, us, the fans and consumers, to trust the process. If you know what I mean, like, bro, it's like my mind is moving a mile a minute. So basically, tonight was the NBA award show. Basically, all the players come together, figure out who's on what list, who's going to get picked where, who's going to be MVP, who's going to be Rookie of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, you know, all different kinds of awards, Most Improved Player, Six Man, so all these awards, even like Sportsmanship Awards, Coach of the Year Award, even Lifetime Achievement Awards, uh, Sager Award, it's just so many awards that you know, players and staff and you know, past NBA uh, Hall of Famers would, you know, be in tune with, so the entire night, I watched the whole award show. This is the first time that I watched that thing from front to back. I was like literally streaming a video game while turning to the side, looking at it, looking at my phone, watching it, seeing what happened. And then the news broke, dog. Joe L and B, NBA Live 19 cover athlete. Y'all don't understand how ecstatic that makes me feel, dog. Like, think about it like this. Back when 2K had first came out, right, and AI was on the cover and stuff like that, and I was like, yo, it's really dope to have a sixer on the cover, but when you a kid, you really don't, like, think about it like that. you like, yeah, I'm going to get this game, AI on it, oh, that's lit. But, like, as a grown-up, as, you know, as you learn what the NBA is about, you learn about what the gaming industry is about, you learn about how, you know, you have to play certain type of politics in different industries, and then you, you sit up here and learn that, the Sixers come around and say, you know what? We got MB and EA Sports, NBA Live. This is the first time. Let me get closer to y'all. This is the first time ever that a Sixer has graced their cover. If you look at all the past covers, all the past covers, there has never been a Sixer on the EA Sports NBA Live tag title game cover. But this year... That switched all up, bro. I can't believe it, bro. Oh, my God. Yo, the crazy thing is, yo, like, for Embiid to get the cover athlete and then, you know, see, seeing some of those clips, like, I'm, I'm going to roll it all the way back. I'm going to roll it back to when the trailer dropped. Everybody remembers when the trailer dropped, right? And we was looking at all these clips. And then when we seen Embiid, we seen him doing, like, mannerisms and different animations that he would do in real life and stuff like that. And I was like... Yo, that's kind of crazy that they got that player likeness in there like that now. Okay. And I was just thinking, you know, that's just something that they did. But they honed in on that. They dropped a gym, just a small gym in a big pot to let us kind of know, like, yo, check what Embiid is doing. Mannerisms, his actions. This is this is what he do. Guess what? This is our cover athlete. Enjoy. That is so crazy. Listen, I don't know, I don't know how to say this, but before I pass away in this life, I'm going to get me a, cover, a copy of NBA Live 19 with Joel Embiid on the cover. And I'm going to try to get him to sign that cover, dog. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I, I'm a, You know what? This is how we're going to do it. I need everybody right now that's watching this video. Go to Joel Embiid's Twitter and tell him, like, put me in the in the ad and everything. Say, yo, Joel Embiid, make sure that you sign a Pac King Carter copy of NBA Live 19. Like, yo, this will really make my life. Not my day, not my week, not my month, not my year, my life. Like, this is so freaking dope, bro. Like, <sighs> all right, so check this out, right? To go off of that, not only does Joel Embiid get that, Ben Simmons gets rookie of the year. Everybody hating on Twitter. 
talking about he ain't really a rookie of this. Oh, he this, this, that, and oh, Donovan Mitchell deserved that. Bro, first of all, let me let me put it to you like this. The only player that I've seen get MVP, like, bar none, like, as far as, like, MVPs, rookie of the year, stuff like that, and talk continuous smack, had that crazy swagger, like, you don't give a, a, a rat's ass, like, what you think about, what people think about you was Russell. Like, Russell Westbrook was undeniably the MVP. Like, we all knew that. But, like, dog, his swagger towards the media, all that, like, he he really lashed out, talked back to people. He didn't care, bro. Donovan Mitchell kind of gave me that same vibe. Like, every time it would come up, oh, he ain't a rookie. Oh, I, I should be the only candidate. Or he will say something smart, a couple of little smart remarks and stuff like that. And I'm like, bro, like, you, you seriously think that you really deserve this over my boy Ben? Is you tripping? You say my boy Ben was doing out here? Like, granted, you're a great scorer. You can get some dope assists. You can definitely slash. You can shoot. I can't lie about that. My boy Ben, he got to work on that left-hand jump shot. I can't lie about that. He's still working on his inside game, his mid-range game. His passing is undeniable. I mean, the boy can soar. You know what I'm saying? You can't be mad at that. Like, and I'm just telling you, bro, the way my Sixers turned this whole season around, bro, they tipped the scale and flipped it on his head, bro. Like, come on, y'all can't deny my Sixers, dog. In the last two years, we've been rocking. We made it to the playoffs this year. We went up against the Celtics. Yeah, we lost. But how many people get to say, yo, I made it to the playoffs. I made it to the round after round to get to the Celtics. You know what I'm saying? And get them a battle of their life. You know what I'm saying? Even though they didn't have Kyrie, they didn't have Gordon Hero, all that, blah, 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 blah. They still a basketball team, dog. I bet you want nobody saying that the Knicks. What nobody saying about that about Brooklyn? I'm just, I'm just saying, bro, the East Coast has had a tough time in, in the uh, whole playoff runs. Teams, they, they call us trash. They say we tanking. We this, we that. Bro, I'm not trying to hear none of that now. My boy Ben Simmons got rookie of the year. My boy Joel and B got NBA Live 19 cover. What we talking about? Oh, and y'all thought I was going to forget? Big shout out to the homie Lou Will, dog. Lou Will, don't ever think I'm going to forget you, bro. I still feel like you riding for us, bro. Dead serious. Big shout out to you on the six man of the year, bro. Listen, a lot of people always be like, well, you know, it's a business and players move and stuff like that. I can't lie to y'all. When players move from the Sixers, I be having a little bit of love. Like a, like a smidge of love left for them people, man. Like when Iggy went to Golden State, I was like, man, Iggy, man. And then, you know, he did his thing. Then he got MVP finals. I said, yo, finals MVP, what up, Iggy? Iggy, why you doing them like that? So all I'm saying is, bro, when, when people leave the Sixers, I always still watch what they got going on. I check their highlights. I check Kyle Corver when he left. You know what I'm saying? Then he was doing his thing in Atlanta. He went to the Cavs, man, started getting locked up. But I'm, listen, I don't know, man. Even crazy thing, when Rajah Bell and them and Larry Hughes and them left the Flight Brothers and Rajah Bell left after Larry Brown, Ricky Z and all that, like when they left, I was still watching them for a few years, just seeing what they was going to do and all that, how they was going to develop. Like it's a lot of players that came into the Sixers fold, left did they own think stuff like that but i i kind of followed them a little bit to see what they was going to do and the crazy thing is like i remember when i followed Ilya Sova, right Ilya Sova came over they sent jeremy grant i was watching jeremy grant get his dunks and stuff like that but when i was watching my Sixers game I'm like Ilya Sova really nice he really could shoot and stuff like that so when they shipped him out i was like darn i really like Ilya. so i started watching Ilya Sova highlights and stuff like that you know what i'm saying when he got pushed out but then they brought him back into the fold so it's just, man, being a Sixers fan is so fun right now, man. You know what? Being a Philadelphia sports fan in general is so fun right now, guys. My Eagles won the Super Bowl. My Sixers went to the playoffs. The Phillies doing good. Flyers doing good. It's just, it feels good to be a Philly fan. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people always be like, yo, iPod, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself, stuff like that. Like, are you from Philly and stuff like that? I can generally say I'm not from Philadelphia. I'm from Chester, PA. But... I'm close to Philadelphia. I'm like 10 minutes away. So, you know what I'm saying? Basically, language, you know, a little slur my words, the way the way I talk or jargon, like when I say John, like all that stuff is, is in me because we so close to each other. Like even with people like facts and trust and all that, like facts, like I've been saying facts for a long time, bro. Like it's just that now a lot of people are starting to say facts. So it's like when I be talking to my boy Jalil, 
We, we really be like, yo, when we was young boys, we were really saying facts and trust a lot. And now it's becoming a thing because now more the East Coast is getting it than down South got it. And now the West Coast getting it. So I was out the West Coast and people were saying facts. So it's really, it's really dope that, you know what I'm saying, our language and stuff like that is, is being perceived by everybody. And New York people, oh man, New Yorkers, they are hilarious, bro. Their whole accent, everything is hilarious, dog. But man, back to the, back to the cover athlete. Congratulations, Joel Embiid. Secondly, I can't wait to dominate with my Sixers. I think if we don't make any blockbuster trades as far as the Sixers go, I think that I might make a small forward for NBA Live 19 just because of the sole fact that I want Ben Simmons on the floor. I'm probably going to want Redick on the floor. I'll take Sarge, you know what I'm saying, on the floor. I'll take Joel Embiid on the floor. Or we can we can swap it out. But I think small forward position might be my lane if we don't make any blockbuster trades. If we do, and say, for instance, we get a LeBron James or anything. I know the comment section is probably on fire right now. Hold up. But if we get any, you know, blockbuster player at the small forward position, I'll make a shooting guard. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm sorry, Reddick. I mean, I love you. But if we get a blockbuster trade for a superstar, a small forward, I got to go ahead and take your spot, bro. And, hey, yeah, you never know. I might take Sarge's spot. I might go after the power forward. You never know, man. So, if we got two, a, a good two guard and a good three, I might take Sarge's spot at the power forward, man. Banging down low with Embiid or stretching the floor with a uh, with a shooter. But, man, I'm just so happy that my Sixers are really coming full circle, man. Like, I've been trusting the process for years now, bro. A lot of people was like, yo, they tanking, blah, blah, blah. Like, I've always been, like, kind of against it. Like, yo, they not really tanking. It's, it's really the way the chips fall. Like, some of these games that they be playing, they play hard. Like, they play they play their behind off, bro. Like, it's just sometimes it's hard to get a win when you're going up against what you're going up against. So, you know what I'm saying? I, listen, I'm going to keep jabbering. I'm going to keep rambling. Ramble King Carter, go ahead and hashtag that in the uh, comment section. But like I said, man. It's good to be a Sixers fan right now. NBA Live 19 is dropping. Went and beat on the cover. I want to get a sign, uh, copy. Make sure y'all make that happen for me on Twitter, man. Add Joel and beat on Twitter. Add me on Twitter with that. And ask him to sign my cover when I get the game fully. But uh, I'm out of here, man. That's, that's my news for the rest of the day. By the way, big shout out to James Harden for MVP. Very big shout out for you, bro. Because to see what the Oklahoma City Thunder did, as a unit and to see what each individual player did by themselves is remarkable. KD got MVP, James Harden got MVP, and Russell Westbrook got MVP. And one thing that I can say, James Harden had to get his MVP on a different team, but it's all cool though. He was the first one to go. So you got to understand his struggle was a little bit harder than anybody else's. KD and Russ got both of theirs on the same squad, but KD was going while Russ got his. Also, Big shout out to Rudy Gobert for getting that Defensive Player of the Year. I was hoping that uh, Joel Embiid would sneak in there. I thought they was going to rig it a little bit. You know, say, you know cause, hey, look, they get a Rookie of the Year to Ben, so I thought Defensive Player of the Year would have went to Joel on some sneaky stuff. You know what I'm saying? In cahoots. But um, also, big shout out to uh, Dwayne Casey, Coach of the Year. Um, also, who else won something? Um, most Improved Player, Oladipo. Nice. Um, who else? What was it? Uh... I think that's I think that's really it for me. Uh oh, Matumbo. Hey, former Sixer. I know I hey listen, shout out to you, bro. Say girl word, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Um, anything else? Jamal Crawford, appreciate you. Um, Kimba Walker's first John. But that, that's about it, bro. That's about it. Anything else? Who got the scoring? Who got the scoring champ, John? I can't remember. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. I know. I'm I've been rambling. I've been rambling. I'm sorry. Bye. Peace. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes, and this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.